All right, for number 23, what it says is, if Laura's house is 10 miles west of Katie's and Jennifer's is six miles south of Laura's, how far is Jennifer's house from Katie's? Draw a diagram and solve. So we have Laura's house is 10 miles west of Katie's and Jennifer's is six miles south of Laura's. So the first important thing we need to do is kind of draw a nice little directional map here, right? And, hold on. So we know that going up we'll call north, east, south, west, right? Like looking at a little map. All right, so then now we need to determine where's everybody's house. So let's just start at a point. And let's just call a point if Laura's house is 10 miles west of Katie's. So let's say, you know what? Here's Katie's house. Then 10 miles west is going to be directly a horizontally west. And then it says, um, Jennifer's is six miles south of Laura's. Well, south is just directly down. Did you guys see that? So now what they're trying to ask is what is the distance what is the distance between Jennifer and Katie? Right? Well, ladies and gentlemen, there's a couple things that we need to see. Since you're going directly horizontal and directly vertical, that is going to create a right angle. And since we have a right angle, we have now a right triangle. And now, oh, this was what, 10? Mm -hmm. And this was 6. So now what we need to determine is this distance x. So as you guys are familiar with, Pythagorean theorem, a squared plus b squared equals c squared where a squared and b squared are the two legs. And you know, this is distance, so let's just call this d. And c squared is the hypotenuse. So let's say, well, what's the hypotenuse again? Remember, your right angle points to your hypotenuse. So therefore, we could say it's 6 squared plus 10 squared equals d squared. Now, you could use c if you want to. Um, it doesn't really matter what variable you use. I just want to use d because we're representing distance. So now. 6 squared is 36, plus 100 equals d squared. 136 equals d squared. Now take the square root, take the square root. d equals the square root of 136. All right? And then we'll talk about simplifying this in uh, another one. But for right now, you guys can just leave your answer with that. Okay. All right, so that was number 23.